Hi, this is Executive Director Jeff Levy for the New Jersey Adult Cabaret Association and the Pennsylvania Hospitality and Entertainment Association. A few weeks ago, I was asked to speak in front of all the adult nightclub owners in New York about a very draconian bill, which is Bill 7126, which is going to impose a $10 surcharge on every guest that comes into any adult nightclub facility anywhere in the state of New York. We are already in a recession. Our industry already pays hundreds of millions of dollars in taxes. We employ thousands and thousands of people. This is going to do nothing but to drive customers away from our industry and it is designed to put us out of business. And we know that we're going to be able to defeat this Bill 7126, which is sponsored by Assemblyman Felix Ortiz. We already have meetings to uh, discuss this bill with him and point out the unconstitutionality of the bill and why it is flawed. I'm not concerned that we're, we, I know we can beat this bill, but however, there are going to be more bills that are going to start to come. Once one comes, many other come. The state of New York does not want our industry alive. They've been trying to put us out of business for a long time, and now they're starting to get overly aggressive. If everybody in the industry in New York does not come together, then we're going to have a problem. You cannot let this be taken lightly. You cannot let this slip away. In New York, there was the smoking tax bill that nobody took seriously, and all of a sudden you couldn't smoke in New York because people did not get together in the hospitality industry, in the restaurants, in the hotels, and the nightclubs. If they did, I can assure you that bill would never have passed. We have been watching the legislation, and we know that there are some bad bills that are going to come down the pipe any day. But the only way that we can defeat these type of bills is through organization and a coming together of having every club fund this new association which is called Ace of New York. It has to be done. If you care about your business, if you care about your entertainers, if you care about the employees, you have to get involved. We just can't have a few people protecting the many. Now we're going to have a meeting to discuss this and how we're going to protect the industry. We've come up with some great formulas. And Ace of New York is going to have a meeting on August 24th at the Mandalay Bay from 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. in Reef Room F. You're going to receive information by either email, phone call, or fax telling you all about this, the, uh, the itinerary and the agenda for this particular meeting. We need everybody's participation. It can't be a few. In New York and New Jersey, we have won every single bill and every single ordinance that we have been involved in, and we always win. The same can be done in New York. But in New Jersey and Pennsylvania, we get numbers, we get participation, we get people contributing because they know they have to protect their industry. Look what, what's happening in Ohio. Ohio is like on the edge of going out of business. They're at the precipice of being done. They've spent tens of millions of dollars to try to get back on track, and I don't know that it's working. You can't allow New York to go down the same path that Ohio did. That should be a shining example to the entire industry of what can happen when you get complacent, when you get into that comfort zone. I'm asking every New York adult nightclub owner to participate, to care about their business, to get involved. You're going to get some information on the screen on how to contact us as well for additional information. But I tell you, the only way that we win these fights are together. As Ben Franklin said, it's either if we don't hang together, we'll hang separately. Please be part of this so Please be part of this organization. It's worked in New Jersey. It's worked in Pennsylvania. Don't let your business in New York, the adult nightclub industry, uh, be curtailed to hypocritical politicians who are nothing more than pleasure police. We have meetings set up with very powerful politicians who are going to help us and we're going to work this out. But unless we have numbers, unless we have participation, unless we have funding, it is going to be a very difficult fight. I can assure you there, these, these religious right and the government and the pleasure police are not going away. But we can beat them with numbers. We can beat them if we are well financed. I ask you to participate. I ask you to come to all the meetings that we have so that you can protect your business and your livelihood. Your businesses depend on your participation. We look forward to seeing you, and let's protect our industry in New York as we have all around the country. Thank you.